this is Rita. Hey, oh, so that's good news. Just wanted to, uh, April came on uh, early to say that she gets to keep her darling orchid, her dog that um, had a problem yesterday, last week. That's lovely. I'm so glad. Um, okay. So today's Friday. It's joyful Friday. I know I am overjoyed that it's Friday. <laughs> it's been a tough week and um, we're going to have a little bit of fun today with our Cricut Joy. Uh, we're going to be making some really fun. Um, we're going to be making some really fun flowers. These are uh, my favorite. These are cherry blossoms. Now I've used this image so many times it's hard to remember all the projects that I've done for it. But um, I like to make these these images in uh, little note cards. And I thought this was a perfect, uh, a perfect project for the joy because it's all little pieces and then you just put it together whatever way you like. And that's kind of fun. It's like, as you like it, <laughs> kind of thing. So um, let me just turn on my iPad. So today I'm using the Joy, which is over here. Why is it over there? Um, so I'm going to use the Joy, and this is going to be fun um, crafting, although it's a little hodgepodge because today, I don't know if it's the weather or what, but... Um, everybody's like going everywhere today. Owen's still on school vacation and he's been up here. He helped Nana Ina get out the door. So she's gone. And then Santa, what are you eating? Teddy bear. Teddy bear's eating stuff again. And, uh, and I, I keep waking up. I'm waking up and I'm like a little bit nauseous. So in the morning, it did that happen to me yesterday. It might be the medication, but it's kind of weird because it reminds me a little bit of what I was like when I was pregnant with Owen. Isn't that awful? Like wake up and you're, you know, got morning sickness. So each morning I wake up and I go, thank you, God, for being alive. <laughs> That's the first thing. And then I say, oh, what's today going to bring? Um, and today was a little nausea, but I am, I am, I am upright. <laughs> I am upright. So, um, yeah, yeah. So anyway, I hope everybody's well. I'm going to just kind of jump in. I'm sorry if I'm a little discombobulated is what I'm trying to say. So today's project is a, it's sort of like however you want it. It's sort of like building a sundae. You get to choose what kind of sauce you want. Do you want nuts? Do you want whipped cream? Do you want cherries or strawberries? That sort of thing. It's kind of, I built it like that, which makes it a great card to just keep coming back to. And then the main ingredient um, that, that it includes is a cherry blossom. So I wanted to show you the cherry blossom so you can you can come and get my file, of course, but if you look here over here, these are the images that I used for this. I actually updated. I was using an older font and then I was using a doily that cost money um, and the older font was expensive. So I changed it to something that was Cricut Access. And um, this is the cherry blossom. It's uh, hashtag M. 420AB. This is the uh, image that we're going to use. Now, because it is being done on the joy, let's go ahead and go into it. We go customize and go into it because it's going to be done in the joy, and the joy does not have um, the ability yet. I don't know, maybe it will, but it does not have the ability to do. Uh, to do the scoring, I decided instead to cut them out and to use this little gadget thing. It's not really a gadget, it's a tool set. It's by Sizzix and it's a paper sculpting kit. Now you don't have to buy this one, there are others out there, but a thing I like about this kit 
is <clears throat> in addition to giving you a bunch of different um, tools to work with, you're able to also work on a surface that allows you to really, so this is, these are the two surfaces they give you. They call them molding, what do they call them? Molding pads. So this one is a detail one and this is a regular one. Not really sure how that works, but we're going to do, we're going to try it anyway. So you'll see here that these three different tools that I have, have, um, a couple of things. This one, this side has a quilling tool and then this one has this big ball. And then there's sort of the medium and the small and the extra small. And then here is sort of kind of like a piercing tool. And the way that you'd work this is you would take it and you would do this sort of rub it on here. So you see that we're rubbing it on here and it gives the flower a little bit of lift. This is what you can do instead of doing scoring. And you see already my flower is already kind of circular. So I think that that's gonna be useful. For this, for the leaves, the leaves had a score right down the middle. So let's grab, let's grab this and we're just gonna press down like this to create the score. And if we wanted to, we could use this to sort of score up or to sort of um, make the paper. The thing is, paper is very malleable. Um, it is made from pulp and all those pulp things, when it gets warm and, it, and it's been moving around, it creates something that doesn't look like paper. You know, we're used to paper being flat. And um, this gives it some dimension and that is a good thing. So uh, that's what we're going to do with this. So let me talk about the base of the card first. Uh, after we play with this, right? Um, so the base of the card is going to be an R20. R20, which is also the insert card R20, um, is also called an A2 card. An A2 card is four and a quarter by five and a half. Well, it just so happens that A2 cards can be made from eight and a half by 11 inch paper. So that's what we're starting with for the card base. I'm using this blue, but I got a bunch of different colors in. And the first thing that we want to do is get out our trimmer. And we're going to cut this exactly in half for the base of our card. Now, if you have cards, insert cards that you purchased they haven't used yet, they would work for this and you'd get the envelopes included. And so um, you might want to consider picking up a pack of insert cards and working with them. But this is if you wanted to make it from scratch, um, what I would suggest is take eight and a half by 11 and then we're going to put it at the long way and we're going to cut it at five and a half inches okay now five and a half inches is exactly the halfway point of an eight and a half by 11 inch card and there all we need to do is fold it like this and that's our base so again use the Cricut bases if you want to or make your own bases with your own card stock um, as well you can do it either way okay so that's the base and because we're working on um because we're working on the joy you remember the joy doesn't do the scoring so you can't really create the base on the joy someone was asking yesterday when we were doing the program uh doing the jukebox they were like can you do this on the joy and the big problem i i left and i started thinking about it i'm like you know what you could cut the base out and cut it in half and then sort of uh, attach it with a tab, but um, you, you can't do scoring on, on the, the joy. So that's just something that we're going to try. Then we're gonna also need something like a mat. So here is some paper that I found. I literally just went uh, shopping in my, um, in my, oh, my, 
craft hoard. It's becoming a hoard. Um, but I found some of these great papers. Some of them are Anna Griffin, like this one. This one could be Anna Griffin, but it doesn't have a name on it. And this is going to be the base of our card. So we're going to look at that one. So cute. And these are just my look at this one. Oh, it's so pretty. And we're going to actually take a square of it and we're going to put it onto uh, the base of the card, give the card a little bit of oomph. And then we're going to build the card from there. But if I want to take these 12 by 12 inch pieces um, and put them in the joy, I do need to cut them down. So I am going to take, let's take this one. And I really love this. I mean, I love the bird, but I want to just get this as the background. So I'm going to take and cut this paper at five inches, not five and a half, five inches. The reason why I'm doing five inches is um, the, let's grab it, the mat that we're going to put this on. So here's a mat that we're going to put this on is really is only four and a half inches wide. So I'm just going to put it on here because I want it to cover this. Okay. And then as far as cutting out the, um, the doily and the flowers, it's all going to be the same thing. We're cutting these all out on the mat. Okay. Because you can't really do, um, what do you call it? Uh, you can't really do, what can't you do, Rita? I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, what can you do? Oh, you, you can't use 12 by 12 paper unless you cut it down. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at our file. So it's kind of all over the place and, and that's on purpose. So here's our doily, which for sake of time, I did cut out a few um, overnight. So it's not pretty. Now we don't have to use the whole doily, but I cut out the full doily and I'm going to show you um, how to create a card with it. And then here are our flowers. We have two sets of flowers. We have this yellow stamen. Is it the stamen? And then a leaf. Okay. And then down below we have, let's move this out of the way. So down below we have these series of squares. So um, what I want to do is have a look at these and see the size. So there's three squares here and I'm going to ungroup them just so you can see them individually. So this one here is four and a quarter by five and a half. And the reason why I made that square was to give me an idea of how big the card is. I'm actually not going to cut this, this size. I just wanted to get an idea of how big the card is, but I do want to cut out a square that would be a mat. Hold on. Let me just, uh, actions, edit, arrange, spring to the front. Okay. So this yellow one is, uh, a smaller square. What size is it? It is size five inches by 3.75. So you see it will create around it a border. So that yellow one is what we're gonna cut out, okay? The, and I'm just gonna hide this one because we don't really need it, all right? Now, this one here is, is even smaller. We don't really need it. Let's have a look though at, what are you eating? Seriously, what are you eating? What are you eating? You can't eat that, no! Oh my goodness, he's eating rhinestones. Do you know what happens when a corgi eats rhinestones? He poops gems. He poops gems. Stop eating the rhinestones. Oh my goodness. All right, so then you also see that there's this whole group. Let's just go back here. There's this whole group of um, tags. So I think we're going to make some of these tags. Now I made the tags. These are just basic, like, oak tag tags kind of thing and then i i gave you a bunch of different ways to um to cut them so you can use this the uh the oh, okay you can use this which is let's detach how do we ungroup ungroup 
unburped. So you can use and just make these, or you can use these wordings that I did, um, or you can cut out these sayings like this. All right, so there's a lot of like mixy matchy stuff going on here. I think what I'll do is I will take these and I will attach them. And let's see, I'm going to group that and attach. Let's do the birthday one like that and attach. Okay, but if you wanted to, you could cut these out. All right. So I'm not going to, I'm going to group those and I'm going to go to layers and I'm going to hide those. And I might as well hide these too because I don't need to cut them out. So this is the kind of thing you can, uh, you can do. All right, let's see. You can make a bunch of these ahead of time, put them in your card box and uh, have them ready. So if you want to send just like a simple birthday card um, and or if you want to, which eventually I'm going to do is bring some of these uh, cards down to the senior center and things like that. So um, so here are our tags. Let's go ahead and cut out. We're going to cut out. Let's group this and we're, we already cut out those things to save us time. So we're just going to hide them. All right. Layers. So let's just cut out the the matte layer and some of these tags. So we hit make it Ah, My project is incompatible. Well, how do you like that? I think that my product project is incompatible because of the um, pen style. So let's go over here and see what is so incompatible here. Um, so I'm just gonna hide this. Let's hide this and see there we go let's see if that works make it no to resolve select okay and adjust affected layers so let's go to layers and where are the affected layers i don't see here where my layers are so it's just it's here and i think layers Let's just get rid of this. The scoring, the scoring. So let's just delete that. Let's try it now. Yeah, it worked. It was the scoring. So we're not going to make this, but we'll use it on here, you see. And there is our uh, base and the, the, um, the leaf. So what we need to do here is because we're working on the joy, we need to change the um, operation type and material load type. So because it's joy, it's automatically assuming everything we're going to use is without the mat. But actually in this case, we're going to cut everything on a mat. So we're going to go ahead and do on mat for all of these. And let's do this here on mat and I suspect it's going to yes it did so it changed it to two different mat because the material size wasn't selected as 12 inch okay so now we're actually ready to cut out on the um on the joy so we'll hit next and we're going to take our piece of this here, this piece, and we're gonna use this as the base of this. So we need to find that mat here. This is the mat. Now it also has this yellow um, stain, which I've already cut out, but that's okay. We'll use that. And we're gonna choose medium cardstock, and we will add a little bit more pressure and we will save this material settings, okay? Now we see, that our joy is blinking. So we're going to go in here um, and put this in. Now it already has the, the joy uh, needle or blade in there. So it doesn't need to, you don't need to take it out and put anything in there. And so all I need to do is add this and then hit go. 
now while we're waiting for this to cut out, um, I just wanted to show you a few things that I got recently in my uh, travel, oh, not really travels, in my online, online uh, travels. And I thought that we could use some of this stuff on our cards today. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Well, first of all, I did show you this wonderful cardstock that I'm using on my Joy. This is Recollections cardstock, and I was really happy that it, it came in these colors. It's all the same color, so I did uh, buy those. But I also got a bunch of stamps in. Look at these stamps. Let's unload this. So look at these lovely stamps that I got from the Echo Park warehouse sale, which I believe they're having another one, okay? Um, so I got these for $5. These are uh, polymer stamps, and they're coordinated with the Echo Park uh, paper that they have. But look at these. Aren't they cute? This coordinates with Little Dreamer, and this is a spring one. Um, maybe we should use this. I must have flowers always and always. Isn't that great? I must have flowers always and always. So our thing has cut out. Let's have a look at what happened here. Boop. And there is our card base. And there is an extra one of these, which I kind of like that in that color. So we also... Let's take this. I must have flowers always and always. That sounds like me. And let's start putting together this card. So here is the base that we created. And where is my cutout piece that I just had? Hello, where did it go? Under here? No. Hey, hey, where did it go, folks? It just... It didn't fall down. Oh, here it is. Okay. So this is the top of the card like this. You don't have to do it this way. This is what I'm trying to get at is that you can just take all your little pieces and make a card. So this is our base of our card. If we don't want to use the base, we can start building the card using this little doily, which I have to take all these little pieces out of it. All right, so let's just pop those out. There we go. And then we're gonna work on our cherry blossoms. There, so there. Then we're gonna work on our cherry blossoms. Let's get our little kit out again and get this molding bit. And I think I'll use this one and we're going to go ahead and make these a little, give them a little bit of, I don't know, Dev. Who's that? Owen? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I, Owen's in the living room. Um, and we're going to give it a little bit of a, of a, I don't know what you call this. We're going to rub these until they get a little more lifelike. Because, you know, flowers are not flat. They're not flat. So here we go. There is that. We're going to need, what are we going to need? Hey, Owen. Yeah. Will you come over here and get my glue? Because I forgot it. It's on my other side there. I'm not playing with the full deck today. But it's in a little tiny bottle in front of my computer screen. Yes. Thank you, Owen. Uh, did did you text Teresa? I didn't. I will do right after, okay? Yeah. All right. Also, so, uh, have yeah. you seen the uh, camera that was in that like, green satchel? I have not. Try to find it around here. Yeah, no, I've been looking for it. Okay. All right. So now we have these two layers. And believe it or not, those are the same color paper, but it's given it a little bit of, I don't know, like that little bit of 
edge and it kind of is picking up the sun in a different way. And then we're gonna take and put this in the back. So let's go ahead and glue these two together. If you wanted to, you could use a little bit of a foam dot, but that will make your card thicker. And if you're gonna mail these, I would recommend um, that you put a piece of like thick, maybe like a cardboard piece in there to protect your, your card. Do you ever do that? Um, and then here you go, here's this yellow piece and I'm just simply going to move these up like this. You see? And I'm gonna glue here. And then I'm going to take one of these pearls. Look at all these pearls that I have. I'm gonna take one of them. I think they might be attached. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. All right. They are adhesive backed and we'll put that there. You see, so now we have one flower. <laughs> so we can do a couple of things with this. Um, we can do it just like that, or we can go ahead and cut out the layer that is here, this layer. It's, um, it's for the tag. So let's go ahead and grab a piece of paper for the tag. Which one am I going to use? Let's try yellow. And that will pick up the stamen and will look really good. So we're gonna just take a piece of yellow, eight and a half by 11. I'm gonna cut it at five inches. I do need a mat. So here's my mat. I'm gonna put this on my mat. And you will see that we're gonna then send it into the joy. But we do need to put a, a pen in there so let me grab my joy pen. This is a permanent marker. That's maybe not what I want. I think I want fine point. So let me do fine point. I'm just gonna open this up, put this in, and make sure that I'm doing the correct mat, which I'm not. Close. Where's the correct mat? Come on. Oh, why do you have to be so buggy? There's a lot of bugs today. I'm sorry, you guys. Let me cancel and let's see. All right, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna hit next. All right, so we're gonna choose medium cardstock and I'm going to use more pressure I already put the pen in because see it says load black pen and then I'm going to hit go. So it's going to write that thank you there and it's also going to cut out four of those tags. It's joy day. Uh... It has been a nut. I, I, I've had to get out of it and get back into it. So if you ever have a problem where you're kind of stuck, the first thing that you should do is, um, is log out of what you're doing. And, um, and actually, if you're working on the iPad, that does mean like actually closing and removing this. And sometimes uh, you have to re- now see it's doing this again this is wrong it's very buggy oh my gosh what's going on oh it's working though mm. okay so since i decided i was going to use some of these uh where are they? Where are some of these? Best friend. I must have flowers always and always. I like this one. So I'm going to take it out. 
and unload this. Okay, let's move this over. So we now have these four tags. One of them has writing on it, which I do like, but you know, it's always good to try new things. So let's go ahead and take one of these blank ones and take this stamp. It says, I must have flowers always and always, which I really like. And you notice how they come off, it's sticky on this side. Then we're gonna put it onto this acrylic block like this. And we are going to grab some ink. Where did I put my ink? Here's some ink. Let's use this. This is dye ink black. Let's see, I hope it works. Get it loaded up really well. All right. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna stamp this, like this. I'm gonna use, now there is a tool if you're really into stamping, it's called the Misty. It's a most incredible crafting tool invented. That's what it's called. And I do have one and I will show you that, but for something this really basic, um, I don't think we need to use the Misty. So now we have all of our little parts here and we can start to decide where they're going to all go. I sort of like this layout and put the doily in the back. I, I think that that piece we cut out is a little small. So if we wanted to use this piece, we will probably have to cut our doily a little bit, right? Maybe. What do you think? I have the mini Misty. I really didn't think I needed the big Misty. I will show you how it works, um, but it is the mini. It is the mini. So, um, so what do you think? Should we use this or not? You have a Misty too? Yeah. Interested in the mini Misty as well. Very pretty. Oh, hi, Linda. That's my friend, Linda. Say hi to my friend, Linda. Um, D. Collegero. She's local. And, uh, and she is somebody I worked with for a very, very long time. Now she's a teacher or teacher's assistant. I'm not really sure what the title is. And um, she's always busy, but it is school vacation. So she is taking a little bit of time and watching, which is terrific. All right, so I think we're gonna use this whole bit. And I'm just gonna put a little glue. Remember, not a lot of glue, folks. And we're just gonna place it here and here and around here on the very edge. You don't need to have a ton of glue on these things and you don't want it to squish out onto your actual card base. All right. The Misty tool for those that are talking about it is rather expensive. And that's why I bought the small or the mini version. And um, there is a larger version that costs close to $100. So um, yeah, I bought the, the mini and it's 50, it was $50. So if you are trying stamping and you really want to get um, a good impression with stamping. That's what the Misty tool does. It helps you with positioning of your stamps. So for instance, if you have a stamp, which I do not have, but if you had a stamp that was layered, so if you had this stamp and it had a background piece to it, the Misty would come very handy with that. It also would help if you were having a problem with the stamp being fully on there and you could have it in your Misty and just keep doing it. So here we go. This I think is gonna look real pretty. Just 
just like that. Just like that. What do you think, guys? Um, let's try another one. So here is, I must have flowers always and always. I like that. It's pretty. There's so much you can do is what I'm trying to tell you is that if you like the personal, like, feel of a Cricut Joy, um, you, you know, because like, let's say you're the kind of person, you don't have a lot of craft space and you don't, um, have a lot of crafting materials. The Joy is perfect because you can use what you've got in the Joy and you don't have to make a huge mess, um, and add things to it if you want to. So, Let's go back here and do a little, oops, I think I forgot. No, I didn't. I didn't forget. I put my little gem, my pearl in there. All right, so there's a nice little note card that won't squish too bad in an envelope. It's simple, it's pretty, yeah. The doily is very pretty. And um, and then, you know, obviously, if you wanted to, you can use this here. Let's get our, um, where's my, here it is. Let's do a few more flowers so that you guys can see. So it's a very, very simple image, but it comes out beautifully if you ask me. And what you do is just kind of like un it's cut right there. So un unattach it, detach it like this. And then get your little tool. Now, if you don't have this, you can do other things. You can use your fingers like this and sort of uh, bend them and fold them like this if you wanted to. You could use the back of your uh, weeding tool to give it some shape like this. See? Just like that. Um, or you could use even a pen that's not have ink on it. I don't know if I have one around here, but you don't need to use this exact same thing. This is just something that was made and it's really cute and I liked it and I wanted to show you it. So there we go. So if you want to have like an afternoon, like a crafternoon with your little or your grands and you just want to, you don't know what to make, make little note cards that you can use in the future. And, um, and then you will have them when a situation arises, whether it's, you know, a sympathy card or get well soon or anything like that, you'll have these. Now, I also use this image to create a cherry blossom, like branch, tree branch. And I bought the branches on Amazon and then I, um, I glued these onto with hot glue glued these onto those tree branches and now it sits in my mother's room and she absolutely adores it so um there you go right and let's put this on here like that do this again put this on here Okay, and then let's get a couple of leaves. You could also do these without the leaves, but I think the leaves are kind of clever. And also I used this paper, it's called bling paper, so it has kind of a sheen to it. I just found this piece in my stash. I don't even know who it's from, but I think it's from Basil, maybe Basil. Um, so there we go. And let's grab our little yellow pieces. I'm gonna push down on that. Look at that, isn't that cute? So this would definitely be a fun project for, you know, you just hanging out, you wanna craft something, you're not really sure what you wanna craft. Why not make a bunch of all occasion cards? with your whatever tools you happen to have and that's what we're doing today so 
Um, I hope that you, when you consider, like yesterday when we were looking at this card and someone asked, is it joy, can you do this on the joy? A lot of times, and I know Annette's here, but a lot of times um, you see a card and you want to do it, but you have to like uh, disassemble it and figure out the different pieces. And this is one of those cards, like all of these little pieces, except for the base, can be done right on the joy. So people who might say, oh, the joy is limited. Actually, it's just a limit of your own creativity, if that makes any sense. I mean, I could make this a five by seven inch card and do this. That would work as well. So, um, so consider that. I think the joy, sometimes people think, oh, it's like the beginner one. But actually, it's beautiful and easy to do with uh, making cards. So if you like to make cards and banners and things like that, you could certainly use the joy for it and it will do it. Also, um, and I'm hoping this will be next week, I'm going to do the mug press using the joy because it's perfect for making mugs. So we're gonna do that next week if if uh, we have, if I'm here and well and enough to show you. So that is today's project. I apologize. Uh, I know I'm not supposed to apologize, but um, I'm a little bit uh, discombobulated today. So I just wanted to just sort of tell you that um, these are really great interchangeable cards. You got it for $88? Where did you get that? It is a workhorse. Oh, excellent. Barbara is saying if you have an old soft mouse pad, you can use it for this shaping. So remember I showed you this this little molding bit. It's just, I don't even know what it's made out of, but it's like a foam, very thick foam. And it works really well with uh, shaping. So, and Barbara's saying, if you have a, uh, a Cricut, I'm not a Cricut. If you have a mouse pad, you can certainly do a mouse pad. But see, I'm just using this here, the back of my weeding tool. Isn't that kind of cool? So, it's called life. I know, I know. All right, so you guys, that is going to do it for this project. However, I wanted to remind you all that tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, we are having a Zoom craft-a-thon. It's a Zoom craft-a-thon. So, you can dial in. You don't need to do the crafting if you don't want to. Um, if you just want to watch and see how everybody is putting together these files, that would be fabulous. And we'll have our friend Crafting with April. April from Crafting with April join us. And we're going to be making four really fabulous free images from Dreaming Tree, which can be found at 3dsvg.com. For the Zoom link, I will post the Zoom link in two places and I will also send it to Loretta. So um, if anybody is in touch with Loretta outside of Facebook, Loretta doesn't have Facebook. So I'm going to post it on Patreon, which you can find my Patreon page if you go to patreon.com and then you type in Miss Rita to the rescue. Um, and you can get the Zoom link from there and we'll be on Zoom. I don't know how many people we'll have. Hopefully we'll have a good group of people and we can craft and talk. And, um, and you don't just have to watch me doing it. You can watch everybody else. So I think that would be uh, a fun thing to do tomorrow night, especially since everybody seems to be snowed in. I even saw Los, Los Angeles is getting snow or San Diego. I don't know. It's crazy. The world's gone crazy. But you can, you know, slow it down and make some crafting things. And I hope you will join us tomorrow night. Okay. Um, the time is going to be, what did we have it last week? Six o'clock? I think we did it at six o'clock. 
Yeah, you don't have power, Sherry. You can use your phone for Zoom. You can. Hi, Ada. Um, and so also six o'clock. Okay, so it's six o'clock Eastern time and it's gonna be on Zoom. Now, if you don't know how to Zoom, I'm gonna give you a really brief lesson on that, okay? So here we go. I get this upside down. All right, the first thing you wanna do whether it's on your phone, your iPad, or your computer, is you want to download the software for Zoom. And you can find it by going to your app store, wherever the app store is. If you have Apple, it's the app store. I don't know what it's called in for uh, Android. And you can do search and you can just type in Zoom like that, okay? Now, I already have Zoom on my iPad, so that's why it says open. So I'm going to open it. And it automatically signs me in because I have a sign in. And what you're going to do is I'm going to be sending out the link. So when you click on that link, it will open up in Zoom. And you just do a series of, of clicking um, so let's go ahead and schedule this right now. We're going to call this the, what did we call it? A craft-a-thon. Craft-a-thon with April and Miss Rita. I think that's fun. And then we're going to have it start tomorrow at 6 p.m., and the duration will be, we're just going to put four hours, even though, you know, you don't have to stay the whole time. Oh, I'm in the wrong, mm, I, I'm in, logged in the wrong one. But you know what I mean? You're going to click on it and it's going to come up on whatever device you are. So if you're on your iPad, you're on your um, Android phone, your iPhone, or your desktop laptop, you can do that. And what it uses is the, um, this is your camera, and you can switch your camera front to back. And so if you don't want to be seen on uh, Zoom, you can just um, have your camera go right to whatever project we're doing. So as an example, let's open up the camera because it's very similar. You can go ahead and use, see this thing, reverse, and it will reverse and do me. And now this reverses and it's it's showing this. And you can sort of prop it up if you want to or do it this way, whatever works for you. But that's how it's done. Isn't that great? So I hope you can um, make it. You went from 92 to 57. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. How do you live in that kind of extreme? Uh, that's crazy. Did you get snow, Shirley? Or no? You're too far south. Um, <laughs> that's fine. If you have cats, cats are welcome. Um, Frankie, once in a great while, has joined us. And, of course, you'll have background dogs barking or whatever. So the thing that's very courteous to do on a Zoom is to turn your mic off unless you're talking. So you can come and just watch whoever the presenters are. So it will be April and I. And then whoever wants to talk can just jump in, turn their microphone on, and talk. And it's really going to be a lot of fun. So grandchildren talking, yes, yes. Um, so that is going to be fun tomorrow. I hope you can join us. And that's going to wrap up our week of uh, fun crafting adventures. I hope you enjoyed um, all the projects. We had some really different projects this week. We did a spaceship um, with a little astronaut. We did a Mardi Gras card. We did, what else? We did a... Uh, 
a baseball card and a jukebox card. And then now we're doing our joy cards with our cherry blossoms. So if you haven't seen all of these, then please come to my website. And it is called Crafting Adventures with Miss Rita. You can just go to YouTube and type in Miss Rita to the Rescue and you will find my channel. Please uh, subscribe to my channel because then you can see all the replays and you'll, you'll be able to learn a whole lot. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for putting up with me today. I feel like I don't have a whole lot of energy, um, but I always have energy to craft. So I'm glad that you could... Um, you could be here with us. I'm so glad. Uh, it's okay to be late. And again, tomorrow, don't feel like if you can't make it at 7 o'clock, you can still come at 8 o'clock and we'll probably still be there. Um, and so you just want to pick up the link in my Facebook group, Crooked Chat with Miss Rita, or you want to go to um, my Patreon, which is patreon.com, Miss Rita to the rescue, and uh, pick up the link and join the fun. It will be fun. We also have some giveaways that... And, april has promised us all right um i hope so too deborah let's get our craft on that's right are you doing a cutie today all right let's do a cutie um so who that's on the call today um who who has not won a cutie um let i take a nap. I'm going to take a nap. I got your lovely email, Cheryl. And you know what? Um, yeah, cutie. Oh, we've got a Donna has not won. Who Loretta, you can you you didn't win one? A cutie. Okay. I think April's going to be okay. She came in a little early and said that she's healing. Um, and Loretta, I don't know how you want to do it, but can you pick a cutie winner? Um, while I'm waiting for Loretta to pick the winner, I will uh, take you to Dreaming Tree, which is 3dsvg.com, right? And we're going to go to these free files. Now you will have to create an account here if you haven't already, um, but here is one of the files that we're doing. It's called the Petite Cake. It's a round box um, and it, it looks like a, a nice piece of cake, doesn't it? And then we're also going to be doing a doggy bag and a kitty bag. There's the doggy bag. And then the last thing is a card called Bloom and Grow. I picked these, one, because they were free and I had never made them. And also number two, um, uh, they're easy, but there are some technicalities and I want you, there's the other one. There's some technicalities when you're working with SVG files from Dreaming Tree, you have to, it's it's usually in several pieces. And so you have to download the entire thing and upload it all to your system. So if you've gotten stuck on that part, come tomorrow night and we will show you how to do it. And there are, by the way, a hundred more than almost 200 free files here. And I've used quite a few of them. All right, Mama Bear is today's cutie winner. Um, so nice. Yeah, the dog is cute. Hi, Christiana. So, um, so Mama Bear, you are the winner. You've got to send me an email at misreta to the rescue at gmail.com. And I promise I'm going to get to the cutie winners. I, I'm, I'm actually almost there and uh, I just have to pack them up. I have all the names now. So send me an email and I will get that out to you. As far as the giveaways go, I'm going to try my best, but I have been, I have been, uh, uh, struggling. I've been on the struggle bus this week. So, um, it, it's been, a, it's been a tough, 
part start of the new year. So I'm assuming that the rest of the year is going to be better. So um, I'm going to get back on track with that. And hopefully you guys will get the things that you want. And then I have my friend, my other friend, Linda, Linda DiColagero. No, it's Linda Atkinson. Linda, you remember Linda Atkinson? Um, she's going to come over and help me with uh, doing the cleaning up and getting those cards out and stuff. Thank you. Thank you so much, Diane. Thank you. Oh, and prayers, I need them. I need them, you guys. I really do. Prayers, if you don't pray, just send me some warm vibes or something because I am really struggling this week uh with walking I haven't been out of the house once and um just getting around from the craft studio to my room or the kitchen I do need to use like a walker thing to get around my right leg is not behaving however I did start my brand new medication three days ago and even though it does make me feel a little nauseous in the the morning I can already feel like the pain is getting better and I don't know if that's placebo effect or what but I'm going to keep trying this medication and the book I found I did get the book how not to die is that the book um Loretta how not to die um hi Faye yeah, I did get the book, How Not to Die. I was reading it this morning as I was waiting for my nausea to, to sort of roll over, and it did. So, um, so I'm going to keep reading that and try to follow a plant-based diet, which is hard for me. I don't know why it's so hard, because I absolutely love fruits and vegetables. But it's, it's that they're not super easy, I know that sounds weird, but like, for instance, Asancho, he loves to buy fruit and he especially likes to buy pineapple and he doesn't call it pineapple. He calls it pineapple, Pina pineapple. It's a emphasis on the apple. But he has said to me, Rita, don't buy pineapple, pineapple. Don't buy the pine pineapple. I'll buy it because I don't know how to judge the perfect one. And he's right. I buy the pineapple and it's hard and crunchy. Um, and he buys it and I don't know how, why, but it's soft and sugary and awesome. So, um, so that's maybe, yeah. He just rolled his eye. Meat and potatoes. Yeah. Meat is so expensive. Uh, yeah, I think that this, it's a good thing. I think it's good for your health, but I also think it, it's probably good for your wallet. Used to be that the vegetables and the fruits, if you got like organic and stuff like that, it would cost a whole lot more. But, um, but now meat, eggs, cheese, everything is going so sky high that um, it might be a good idea to just nibble on some carrots and and eat some nice fruit vegetables all right if you pull on the innermost leaves it come out easy really mangoes yeah same thing mangoes he bought me these kiwis they're called golden kiwis never had them before in my life and they didn't taste like a kiwi they and they're golden on the inside they're not the usual green so it was really kind of interesting so i'm gonna let him pick up all of my fruit from now on <laughs> all right i've got to run owen is sitting here so that means he has a question to ask me um and i will see you guys tomorrow all right you have a pineapple core <laughs> Yeah, I, I agree, Annie. Yeah, oh, goodness. We've got, woo, bad winds out here. All right, you guys, love you so much. I'll see you again tomorrow, hopefully, and um, hope you have a nice crafting day. Take care. Bye. And uh, Owen, everybody says goodbye. Au revoir. Au revoir. He says au revoir, which is French for goodbye. 
And uh, if you didn't know, and uh, we're gonna have Not a great. Know what au revoir is. Uh, some people don't know this stuff, Owen. You can't like just assume everybody knows what it means. So, all right. Yeah, but au revoir say... is such like a common. Maybe I don't know. Goodbye. Does everybody know what au revoir means? Maybe he's picking on me. <laughs> Avita Zane. Someone said Avita Zane. Uh, Avita Zane. Yeah, they said that too. All right, you guys. Love ya. Asta. Now Loretta's saying Asta. Later, Owen. Oh, boy. Dasvidanya. Dasvidanya. There's the Russian in there. And Asta Luego. All right, you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.